Hello, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. Welcome to the Alberta Urban Garden. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to build some garden soil using predominantly compost and put the rest of the beds down for the winter. So what we've done is we've actually taken some of the plants that, uh, that we cut down, some of the beets that have been eaten. So now we're going to spread some of the compost that we grew the, uh, the squash on this year, the zucchini, on top. So we're going to flatten this out and uh, we're going to add a little bit more um, compost on top and then we'll come back for the next step. So one of the beautiful things about using the compost, the winter compost from last year that uh, we grew the zucchini on is the worms. This is just full of worms. The worms did most of the decomposition and that'll bring in all sorts of great nutrients. It'll break down the, the, uh, the uncomposted material that's down here and provide a nice, nice place to live. So what we're gonna do, because this is unbroken down and there's zucchini and tomatoes down there and cucumbers, so we're gonna put cardboard on top. And what this cardboard will do is it will um, act as a barrier. Another thing you can use is newspaper. Um, newspaper is typically made out of, uh, the ink is a soy ink, which will break down quite nicely. And so you just want to cover this before you put any soil on top so that uh, it helps keep those initial weeds down and um, will allow the compost below to break down. The worms will eventually break down the paper as well. So by next year, we should have a nice digested compost pile underneath here. So the next stage is, is to take some of the soil that, um, that we've selected here. And so what I'm doing is for this particular one, so I'm unpotting the lettuce and this has got all sorts of goodness in it. It's a, a potting mix, um, two types of compost, uh, and um, one of the most important things is rock dust. That provides the, uh, the trace minerals that will really help this garden become nice and healthy. So we're just gonna add some more um, soil on here to basically cover it for now. So now the key to this soil mixture is to keep it moist. Even though winter is just about around the corner, keeping it moist will help keep the worms in there and they will do their good job. I mean, in the spring when I planted the zucchini on what's now on top here, which is the compost, I, uh, it was all, all whole food. And the worms spent their time this summer breaking it down to this glorious, glorious compost. So you water it just like you're watering your plants and the worms will stay happy and they'll do their busy work. Now you'll notice I didn't, um, I didn't cover all the way to the top of the bed and that's so that in the spring I can mix it up one more time and if I do need to I can bury a little bit more raw compost under there and then over time continue to add new compost on top. So the last thing you want to do is spread uh, leaves if you have them or grass if you don't on top. So a nice thin layer of grass is the last thing you want to do and what that will do is that'll bring the worms up to the top. This will break down in the spring, you can roll it in, but you just need a thin layer, nothing fancy, and uh, that's the, the last step. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it very much. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe or join us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Garden. Thank you very much and have a great day.